we're going to look for a truth table here. And this one is not R or not P. So we got not R or not P. Uh, the way I remember the ands and the ors, this one is an or. I just think of the word OR. And this R looks a lot like that symbol. Not exactly, obviously, but pretty close. For the and, the symbol is, it goes the other way. And I just think that that looks a lot like an N. So that's how I remember ands and ors. All right, we're going to set up this table here. So there's two inputs. There's an R and a P. So let's go ahead. Our first column will do just R by itself. And our second column will do P by itself. Now we need all different combinations. Actually, I don't think we need that long of a table, all different combinations. So we'll start with true, true. Usually you make the second one go false first. So we have a combination of both true, one true, one false. Now the other one false and the other one true. And then of course, false, false. Uh, without going too far into number theory, the reason we have four because the first column had two choices, the second column had two choices. When you multiply them together, you get four choices total. If we had three inputs like R, P, Q, you would do two times two times two, which would be eight. You'd have eight rows. I don't think you have a problem that goes beyond three, but that's why uh, when you have two, there's four rows. So first thing we're going to do is work on not R. So there's not R. And for this, we're going to look at the R column. And whenever it was true, not means change it to the opposite, which would be false. So again, all I'm doing here is just looking at the R column. And I want to invert it and write the opposites here. So not true is false. The second true, not true would be false. This false, the opposite will be true. And this false, the opposite will be true. All right, so we're done with the not R column. Now we're going to go not P. And here we're looking at this P column. And we're going to take the opposites again. So the first one true, and the opposite will be false. False turns to true. True turns to false. And the last false turns to true. All right, so that takes care of not R, not P. Now last up we're going to do this entire thing right here. So we have not R or not P. So whenever there's an or, the or is going to be true when either or is true. So we're going to look at this first. I see false, false. And I need at least one to be true for this to be true. So if they're both false, the or will be false. Now we're on to here. I see false or true. And as long as you have one of them true, this will be true. The third row is very similar here. You got true, false. So we got one is true. So the or becomes true. And last up, when they're both true, or is also true. So this will be the final column in our truth table here.